Hi, I'm Cheryl Hunter, best-selling author of Use It, Turn Setbacks into Success. It has been one heck of a week for those of us in the United States. There were the Boston Marathon bombings and the plant explosion in Texas and the ricin-laced letters, the poison that was mailed to the president and other elected officials. The interesting thing was that this cascade of events launched on, on Patriots Day in Boston. And the interesting thing about it to me was that I heard someone say that there haven't been any patriots in the United States since the Revolutionary War. I firmly disagree. If you look at the footage of the Boston bombings, you'll see people running for their lives, understandably. But if you analyze the footage, you will see an equivalent number of people running toward the explosion. Two people that they've never met before to help that is a patriotic act. The people of Boston came together and the people of the country came together to help identify the perpetrators. The people of this country and world really came together as well to help raise money and collect funds for the victims, those who lost family members, lost their lives, lost limbs. That's a patriotic act. Finally, when the Boston PD announced that they had captured the suspects, the people of Boston came together onto the streets, regardless of their age or gender or religious affiliations or political preferences. And they came together as one, celebrating themselves, each other, and the police. More patriotism. I had the pleasure of speaking last week in front of a group. And one of the people there asked me, how do we go on? How do we go into public now? How do we go to sporting events? How do we go to concerts? How do we go anywhere and leave our houses feeling safe? That is a very good question. It's one that each of us is going to ha have to answer for ourselves ultimately. I found my answer back with the original Patriots. In an answer, it was a quote made by General John Stark in the Revolutionary War when he said, live free or die. One of the rights that many people hold most dear is freedom. I, for one, agree. And that is one of the fundamental rights that I refuse to let anyone take from me. If we, if we cower, if we sequester ourselves, then terror wins. But if we go on living free, enjoying the lives that we always have, freedom wins. I know nothing about anti-terrorism tactics. I don't know a thing about crowd control. But what I am an expert in is recovering from trauma and moving beyond difficult circumstances. One of the best, most effective ways to return to life as normal after a difficulty is to resume your regular routines and to do so as quickly as possible. Even the American Psychological Association agrees with me on that one. So what happens when we return to our regular routines? We may encounter challenges and difficulty. We may meet with those who would want to take our freedoms from us. Then what? The irony about all of this is most of us live our lives day to day as though we were going to live forever. We imagine that we really truly are going to live invincibly ad infinitum until forever. But the moment we stop and get present to the fact that that's not the case and that we are going to go sometime and that life is comparatively short we're faced with a choice. And the choice is, how do you want to go? Do you want to go hiding under a rock or in a cave like the cavemen? I, I, I did a video on that a couple weeks ago when the world seemed like a kinder, gentler place. Or do you want to go, in the words of this quote, Life should, be a, life should not be a journey to the grave with the intention of arriving safely in a pretty and well-preserved body, but rather to skid in broadside in a cloud of smoke, thoroughly used up, totally worn out, and loudly proclaiming, 
Wow, what a ride. In other words, live free or die. Hey, you're gonna die anyway, it's your choice. If you like this video, share it with a friend, particularly anyone you know that's grappling with this themselves and is not quite clear how to move on now. If you like the video as well, just give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. If you have not yet subscribed on CherylHunter.com, do that for more premium content and to receive videos like this that I only send out to people on my list. Thank you for being here. You patriots, you. Have your life make a difference.